Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Sab. If you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome to today's video. Apologies about the absolute state of me. I know I said it in the last video, but I've actually been really, really ill. Um, so it's now Thursday and um, last week kind of got a bit messed up with my upload schedule because me and Billy were actually away in London for the week. So we went from Tuesday to Friday and I was actually organised and had things going expecting the hotel because they said they had Wi-Fi, thought it was going to be fine, I'll upload from the hotel and it was absolutely shocking to the point where we even paid for this premium Wi-Fi that's meant to be great and um, it still wouldn't kind of upload the stuff so apologies about last week's kind of messed up schedule but yes I'm also just kind of getting over the bug so Saturday and Sunday we were really ill, so they were meant to be filming days for me. Um, <coughs> getting, <coughs> oh my god, see, getting ready for this week. Um, and me and Billy were literally in bed. Now we don't spend the day in bed, and I kid you not, when I slept from like nine in the morning until kind of literally the following morning, it, it's no joke. And I think I got up like three times maybe just because I had to and like you know getting drinks but generally Billy kind of did that for me because he was really poorly the day before um so yeah just kind of we're both actually just getting over that so um bear with and uh yeah I'm not I'm not on form to be honest but we move and we've still got to get a video out to you guys so just didn't feel like putting makeup on either still I hate wearing makeup on I'm ill I know it kind of sometimes makes you feel better but I just I just can't do it I don't have the patience to do it so anyway welcome to today's video this is a what on my what's on my ipad um i do have the ipad pro 12.9 inch which is this which is this big bad boy here um i absolutely love my ipad i've had it for a few years now i did initially buy it for for uni and to do school work on but um yeah i mean it kind of turned into a more leisurely um a, le a leisurely purchase where I watch YouTube videos and I watch Netflix. Although I do actually obviously do a lot of my thumbnails on here. Um, all my like editing for thumbnails on here which isn't really a lot. But yeah and I did, um, I do use it like across the board so I thought I would share with you what's on it. I mean it's nothing interesting but hey ho if you're like me I like seeing what's on other people's and you find some really good apps. So anyway let's get into it. So, as I said, I do have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Now, it's just in this um, Magic Keyboard case. This is the old one. I did bring a new one out, which I didn't see the point in yet because there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. And how, look how much I'm catfishing right now. Like, obviously here, hair was all done, had my extensions in. Yeah, a bit of a fail, so obviously a bit done up, you know, but let's just ignore that. So, um, yeah, your gal, your gal needs to sort herself out, but... Anyway, I'm going to take it out of the case for now, just so you can kind of see. But yes, this is the um, Magic Keyboard case. Again, this was a really good purchase, but it is spenny. Um, and that's why I didn't bother buying the new one, because it was spenny enough as it is, and there's nothing wrong with this one. So, you know, it just stays there, because it's always handy to have. I did get the space, I think it's a space grey, or kind of like midnight grey um, colour so yeah again nothing kind of crazy i've also got a i can't think of the brand but it's the paper it's the paper protector so when you write with the pen which i do also have you just well it just makes writing on it feel a lot more like normally writing on paper because it feels like paper but they're quite spenny as well for i mean for screen protectors but i think it was worth it so yeah that's that and then if we just come to apps that I have, so I'm going to screen record this bit as well and then put it on the screen so you can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. Right, so I've got the clock, the app store, settings, reminders, photos, maps, camera, and then YouTube studio. So they're all pretty standard stuff. Um, I use reminders quite a bit on my phone and across the board, so you can probably kind of see here. So like, this is my little reminders for each and every day. Um things I try and just remind myself to actually do obviously because they're reminders and then I've got a shared one with Billy when we kind of come up with or we find little recipes that we really really like we make a note of it and then we'll do like a little dinner um so yeah I really like that one so there's some inspo for you if uh if any of you <laughs> want some food inspo 
and then Billy just shares his his need list with me which is actually his wants list um, but this is where I get kind of all of my Christmas and birthday gift ideas from because he puts there what he wants and it just makes it a lot easier for me so CDs, books, a roof tent of course I think that's just a boy thing um, and books but yeah we kind of we're suckers for books and stuff um, then I've got photos, so like I said, I don't really need to show you any of that. YouTube Studio is just the standard. Um, YouTube Creator Studio, as you can kind of see. Obviously, I don't make any money from YouTube, but um, I used to, but not anymore, because I had quite a big break, and then you've got to kind of, when your channel essentially gets disabled or removed from, like, the partner program, you have to then re-meet the criteria. So, obviously, I meet the subscriber count, but I haven't met the overall watch time hours, so I think I need 3,000. Yeah, 3,000, so... I've got 726 so um, yeah if any of you want to binge watch the videos I've got help me boost that that would be great <laughs> I'm just joking but yeah uh, then I've got this calendar um, kind of widget which is quite a big uh, one and hopefully well you should be able to see that we had quite a busy day on Tuesday and Wednesday so although we were feeling quite rough um, we have had lots of viewings property viewings that is and I'm going to start taking you guys along to show you what we're up to uh but basically yeah I've viewing lots of properties we've got um our own property business that we're kind of starting up and getting things going with so yeah on the hunt for a, for a property and um had a lot of viewings yesterday we had one that we really really liked but unfortunately the refurb cost is just going to be too expensive I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here but just for like context um so essentially what I'm saying is all of the ones we actually end up viewing over the two days are none none scream to us that we want to take it on so um yeah that's that but that's just the way that this world works or oh, this game property industry works uh tomorrow i've got a bit of a busy day again saturday i'm actually in birmingham but i don't have that in the calendar and i do need to sit down and go through my calendar but me and billy kind of share one now because like i said with the business and we're kind of busy um next up i've got pinterest now you will know what pinterest is pinterest is my absolute love of my life i get all of my inspo here i mean i just can't help myself home inspiration outfit inspiration like i'm actually just gonna save some of these because i like those um outfits and i also have like an instagram inspo folder if you want to come follow me on um pinterest then feel free i say that as if i know what my handle is there you go 14 followers like absolutely booming but <laughs> no i joke it's yeah it's my little piece of heaven it's where i go when i just want some inspiration some motivation um and just to remind me of the life that i want to live this is where i this is where i go which i don't know i feel like that's pretty standard but that's that so yeah you all know what pinterest is um next up we've got youtube now again i spend a lot of my time on youtube i just love watching youtube videos i absolutely love i think it's sarah um Caroli, so love her channel and just her content. Who else do we like? Um, obviously, you've got kind of bigger YouTubers so like Gemma Louise Miles, um, Saffron, obviously. Who else have we got? It's like a common theme here. You can see the digital planning. Alexa Ray is a really nice channel as well. I love that. I go through phases on YouTube when, again, got Rachel Leary. Love Rachel Leary. She's funny very funny very amusing person to watch um very relatable as well but yeah i kind of go through phases on youtube of videos that i enjoy watching and then i'll binge watch like everyone's version of it and then move on so i can't really say what i'm into at the moment i think definitely reading vlogs like i said sarah alexa i enjoy watching those watching what they're reading um fitness vlogs always race beverly's podcast obviously Han Renee, Esem, love Esem. Yeah, and I quite like watching kind of productive, productive vlogs. So again, gets me in the mood, gets me inspired to do these things. Um, I don't know how you say her name, but Tam, Tamcore. If you have Kerkar, if you haven't been on her channel, you need to need to get on it. It's very, yeah, I love her. She's quite funny as well. I feel like she's a manifestation queen. But yeah, that's um. Lydia Elise Millen, Millen, well, Millen Gordon now, obviously. But, yeah, binge watch her quite a lot as well. But, again, I'll go through phases with her because, like, one minute 
I watch all of her videos in like, you know, back to back and then another I'm like off for a few months then I go back. But they're always ones that I keep reaching out to. Then I've got Santander which is just my banking app. I've got a uni folder which just includes Good Notes, uh, Google Drive, Docs, Word, Blackboard and my Eula which were basically like my university apps. Files where I save all my documents and Notion. Um, Good Notes I paid for initially. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this but you do actually need to pay again now um, because they've locked all of my notebooks so I can't actually edit them without paying for yeah so look it says read only edit up to three notebooks if I upgrade I need to pay again so initially I paid £15 for the app which I think is very very you know that's fine but then to now have to pay a subscription to get access back to the ones that I were using I think is very very naughty I mean it's not breaking the bank don't get me wrong but it's just really really annoying so I need to do that um Again, nothing really interested on Google Drive or anything like that. Files. Notion, I just can't. I need to, again, sit down with this. But I keep trying to get to grips with it. But I just can't. Like, I, I don't know what it is. And I see everyone with these really aesthetic Notion um, templates. And they say that Notion basically organises their life. And I just need to figure out a way to use it that works for me. But I just, at the minute, I can't. And it's sending me a little bit. I think I've done it three or four times. And I'm just like, this is not aesthetic it's very hard work and it's yeah i don't know maybe i need a day of like just doing my notion thing and setting it up and then finding what works for me but i really wish i could have an aesthetic one but i just don't um we don't want that we don't want that we don't want this tumblr again i haven't been on this in forever but i do like it and i mean this is how old it is like that photo of me is i don't even know how old which is quite scary what was the, like the last thing does it give you the date of this is how old it would have been because this is gcse notes and i would have saved them oh yeah that how to survive a first year of college and uni as well during the time i was doing my gcse stuff so yeah but there is some gems on here as well and i you do get quite nice inspo on here it's like planner inspiration um, what else is on here? Mac. Um, I actually recreated this poster here. Um, so that's funny. I did it in form one day when I was revising for some upcoming exams. I went through a massive phase of really wanting my hair to be this deep purple. Um, so again, there's inspo there for that. Nails. Makeup table with all the Mac stuff. Morphe and Jacqueline Hills collaborations yeah so I think you're really gonna tell how old this is but um I mean does anyone actually still use tumblr anymore but I, I do like it anyway moving on entertainment folders I've got tiktok bazaar inshot iMovie books netflix procreate bbc iplayer itv disney so just all your standard kind of literal entertainment stuff so um the ones that I kind of go to the most on this are tiktok um i don't actually really use imovie but i've kept it on here because if i want to edit on here and i know you can get the final cut pro on here now which i might actually end up doing um but i do also have CapCut, which isn't going to fold it yet so i'm going to put that in there although technically that could be in editing but um yeah let's actually move that to editing yeah, so obviously TikTok, Netflix, uh, Disney and ITV and that kind of stuff is the ones I reach out to most in this folder. Um, I'm a Netflix, like, junkie, so, yeah. Uh, editing, I've got Eraser, which is like a background eraser. Colour Tone, I think everyone in there now knows the app, same as Facetune Lightroom. Fonto, I can sometimes use to put text on my thumbnails, but it just depends, really, because I can also use Canva for that. And PicMonkey. Visco is like a filter editing, and then I can't... I think that was a GoPro app that Billy put on here for the GoPro Quick. And CapCut is something that I'll use now to edit my TikTok videos when I put those up. Um, so yeah, again, all really, really standard stuff. Eraser is a really good one for a background um, editing app. But if you've got any better recommendations, please let me know. Because I know there's like a couple of different things. And you can pay for the upgrade in Pixar. Again, I feel like I've just got like a thousand subscriptions, which is extremely dramatic. But too many subscriptions for different things when I don't really know if I actually utilise everything I pay out for so um, I've also recently got Goodreads on here so I need to add 
all of the books that I've read any ratings and um, that's kind of one that I've picked up from watching people like um, Alexa Ray on YouTube with all her book vlogs and yeah it's just a good one to vlog and actually Billy has been trying to get me into this for weeks be saying you know log your books and you can track which page you're at but um, I just feel like that's an extra chore so I don't know maybe I'll get into it but um, and then I recently got Facebook I don't use Facebook um, I have a Facebook which is like a donkey's years old but the reason I put Facebook on here literally this week was because uh, I'm looking for probably like furniture and stuff from Facebook Marketplace and you can pick up some absolutely you know steal items for you know literally pence in comparison to what you'd pay in the shop so yeah I have been using that like I said I don't really actually use it so um okay I mean you can save it if you want to yeah just go on to marketplace and look at obviously none of this stuff is relevant but yeah looking at furniture basically because yeah might be um in your flat but yeah that's kind of it really i don't have another page um obviously that just comes up with the extra bits and bobs along the bottom i've got files messages safari i don't know what's on my safari am i okay to yeah that's fine so again like this is the kind of stuff that i really want to start tracking our projects with in notion um it's just going to be a lot easier to manage and like refer back to i think but at the same time i'm like i don't know is it so we've got this um, I've got like a thousand tabs open on here, but it's because I was working on it the other day. So yeah, that's the kind of thing I need Notion for. I've also got Spotify because again, you know, love music. So any good kind of playlist anyone recommends, please let me know down below. I kind of love listening to all the feels, motivational daily talks from in the car, driving to and from work and reminding myself, you know, why I bothered working sometimes. Um, the Diary of a CEO is a good one. And then, um, you'll see it ends with us playlist at the top so i like when i'm reading a book either with this one when i found the playlist at the end i um i'd already read the book and it kind of really made sense but i want to try and do it whilst i'm actually reading a book and listening to the songs because the ends with us one in spotify is a really really good match for the book and literally with each song you can pick out which bits of the book it actually suits really really well with so um yeah and then obviously got things like um fast pop run for like running workout tracks all of that kind of stuff so yeah i mean i live on that too instagram pretty standard i mean um yeah this is our business one but yeah <coughs> bless me yeah instagram my handles um i'll leave a link in the description box but yeah it's instagram i don't actually post on there haven't posted on there in like forever i think since january 2022 maybe so well over a year and like it'll be two years if i don't post anything in Jan by january next year um just haven't been feeling it i spend a lot of time on instagram i you know i love scrolling through looking saving inspiration stuff so i just don't tend to post on there at the moment don't know why i just just don't um outlook i keep my emails on here i think i've only got my one set of emails on here which is my student stuff just because lovely thank you so much as i was saying um so yeah i've got my outlook app on here but this was just for my student account because the point of me buying this ipad initially was for the fact that i was going to use it for uni work um yeah but I did, I mean I did when I, when I was at uni, so I've kind of finished now, I've just got two exams left that I keep putting off, but um, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that later, it's because I work full time, and then yeah, I just, it's crazy, but that's kind of it, and then obviously what just comes up along the side is anything that you kind of reach to regularly, but that kind of is everything on my ipad so i'm gonna stop screen recording you will have a much better view of it here and apologies i was kind of looking over here at the screen as to what i was doing but yeah like i said nothing special i do need to go through and make it all look aesthetic and all pretty and stuff because it's just kind of pretty bog standard um but again that takes a lot of effort i think and sometimes i'm like i don't know maybe i'm not one of the cool kids anymore my sister does it but my sister's 13 and i'm just like okay maybe i'm old and i don't want to be that old sister that's no i just need, i do need to make it look a little bit more aesthetic and a little bit more inspirational motivational but are you gonna focus on me yeah thank you so much
but yeah so it's not all that exciting but i hope you guys enjoyed looking through what's on my ipad if you have any other video requests you want to see like an update what's on my iphone um then let me know but otherwise that's it so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what other content you want to see on my channel and i will try and live up to it but i'm feeling better we're gonna get back into a routine and you know just hang in there stick with me we got this so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye